Wow, so apparently I just uh, swam with a shark. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode. And this morning we left Geraldton and we left early. So I got up at six well, o'clock, which is- early for us. <laughs> it's early for me. A lot of people leave early. Um, <laughs> But um, yeah, so we are on our way to Lucky Bay Campground um, and on our way we are going to stop off at the Pink Lake. We hope it's pink because Hopefully. we've seen, we've gone past what, two now? Yeah, and they've pink. not been pink. Not for a long time either. <laughs> so I really, really hope it's pink. But um, anyway, and I, we cannot wait to get to Lucky Bay Campground either. So Also, it's not the Lucky Bay in Esperance. No. Most people watch this thing behind Esperance again. Near um, Calvary. Yeah. So um, hopefully, apparently there's really good fishing. So hopefully. New kayak, fish. We'll oh, yeah, new kayak. Woohoo! All right, anyway, let's hope it's pink. Let's go. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing through my body. I know that it is here to stay. It's like you're my personal Illuminati. I know that some might say that I am just a bad girl But if you treat me right I will be the best Alrighty everyone, so we've arrived at uh, Lucky Bay Campground um, Like we said, it's the one up near Calbarry, not the one down at Esperance Pretty smooth ride in, um, we did let the tyres down A uh, few reviews on Wikicamps did say it was rough It wasn't too bad, but it helps, especially with our van being leaf sprung. Always like to let the tyres down. Just helps with the bumps. So it's not so rough. Um, but yeah, it wasn't too bad. It's only like, I can't remember, if like 3k off the road to the ranger station. Then the rest is smooth, just a bit of a sandy track. There's quite a few campsites here. Uh, we found this one. I'll show you where we're set up at the moment. Just here. And it's pretty sweet because you get your own little fireplace. Not that we can have a fire, but if it was fire season, that bad boy would be going. So yeah, we're here for the next six nights. Um, there's, you know, we'll be down at the beach. There's a little lagoon um, around here, so we'll probably spend most of our time there. We've got the new kayak that will, uh, inflatable kayak, so we'll get that going. I'll go out for a fish in it and see how that goes, but yeah, just gonna chill out here. Go, go on the beach, watch the sunset. Apparently there's some sand dunes you can drive on. That should be pretty wicked. Hopefully catch some fish. Don't hold your breath, we never catch any fish. Probably one of the worst fishermen in Australia, but anyway. So yeah, we'll show you what Lucky Bay's got to offer over the next six nights. Hope you enjoy. Good morning. We are ready to go onto the beach. We're putting the kayak on the roof. Yeah, it should be a really good day. We went out um, last night, well, yesterday afternoon, and just checked out um, like the lagoon, and it was just brilliant. I cannot wait to get the snorkel kit out today. It actually looks really, really good. Um, and we've just had our first encounter of a, of a mouse. Yeah. It did scurry away, it wasn't coming into our sight or anything, but they are around, so we're very um, cautious of that. So anyway, TJ's finishing that off and... <laughs> See you on the beach. How was that, babe? That was wicked. <laughs> wicked new good toy. out there. Yeah, it's a little bit rough. Is it, a bit, is it quite stable? Oh, yeah. Feel stable, eh, Parker? Yeah. Do you feel like a real boat? <laughs> yeah. The yeah, it's cool. Good. The seat's I've good, I've been in a kayak with a seat, so it usually hurts your back. Oh, I remember when That's we used to have those good. kayaks with no seats, and oh, oh your back hurt after about 10, ten minutes, minutes yeah, I reckon. some somewhere, remember? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's cool. All right, we've got a new but toy. The wind's picking up, so we probably should get in here a bit earlier. Yeah, what? Well. anything. That's on me. I'll be leaving early tomorrow then, come down. Have a go. On another note, have a look at these amazing shells. They're like, they've got the nicest colour. I need to get them in the sun. Check out that. I've never seen a colour like that before. And this one's even brighter. I think I said it fishing right up quickly. That's absolutely amazing. Right. Well, there is no way I'm getting in the water today. We have just had someone drive past and let us know that just up there um, a, si uh, a shark was just sighted in the shallows 
<laughs> there is no chance I am getting in the water today. I was literally, I wanted to go check out all the reef. Like this lagoon has got the, the reef all there, but there is a bit of a space over there where you can get your boat out to the ocean. And obviously that is where the shark has come in. Uh -uh. Yeah, no, definitely not um, risking my life today. Not today. All right, we're just finishing off dinner now and I've got some halloumi cooking and some potatoes. And I just wanted to show you what we actually use for our seasoning pretty much most of the time. So we've actually got um, fifth season uh, black garlic salt and we use that for our potatoes, roast potatoes, uh, mashed potatoes with, with like a, some butter. Oh, it's so good and it's so nice and garlicky. We absolutely love it. So much so that we love it that we actually also got two other flavors from fifth season so we got g and t and native mint so g and t is really really good for like chicken or for rimming a cocktail mm -hmm. um, and native mint we've actually used on a roast before as well and it was absolutely delicious and i've actually read it's really good to put on a fruit salad <laughs> i haven't tried it yet but i'm so keen anyway look at my little stash here um so anyway we're going to finish off this get outside and eat because it is so hot in here good morning first thing on the agenda <laughs> empty the toilet uh there's a dump point uh there's bins here as well national parks we found in wa are amazing it's dump points bins it's yeah it's, it's fantastic but it's definitely not the same in any other state that we've seen so far second we're going back to the beach today we're going to go a little bit more round to um the other side so hopefully we're closer to the reef so if there's any sharks we hopefully don't get bitten <laughs> and then we might go for a little drive on the sand dunes after so should be wicked let's go come down to the little lagoon here where we're staying again <laughs> right freddie um and it's not the, it's not the best weather today it's been a little bit windy so uh kayak's not going out but Leah and Quinn, if you can see them over there, I don't know if you can see, you can kind of see them on the camera. They're braving it and going for a snorkel. Um, I'm just hanging back with Freddie, Parker's here as well. Um, they've only got a little bit and then I think we need to get out because the tide's coming in and yeah, it's real soft at the top here. So I don't really want to head up into there. I'd rather stick on the, on the low tide mark. So yeah, we'll see if they see anything and I guess we'll come back tomorrow, I reckon. Me and Park will come back for Savo, might have a fish. But um, we'll try again tomorrow and go for a proper snorkel while the sun's on the water. Alrighty, so they're coming back, so let's see if they've seen anything. That's How'd you go? That was so good. Was there heaps over there? There was so much over there. So the only thing fish? is, because we've chosen to come over here where it's all shallow, yeah. the rocks are quite high. So you only have about oh, that much water at some spots, so you're crawling oh, a gun. Right. But it was really it rough. It was rough. Yeah. Like we literally stood in one spot like laid in one spot and we were just getting dragged along yeah. but that's quite good actually because you could just this has been the worst day for that it hasn't been this bad yeah you can kind of swim yeah. along with the, the current fish oh, with the oh, fish. Was, there was so Steve? many so many yeah so we'll um we'll probably come back down the Savo and see what the weather does it does look like rain out there it's meant to rain a little bit but yeah we'll see how we go what yeah, wicked. i want to do that again <laughs> Macaroni cheese is done and it actually looks insane. Check that out. Oh, and I've tried some already and it's absolutely spot on. So we're gonna have some broccolini and some broccoli with that tonight. And that's gonna be two nights worth of dinners. So brilliant. So tomorrow is gonna be so easy. <laughs> Good? Yeah. <laughs> can't make this up check out this <laughs> you are joking oh my god 
we literally just got in the car this morning and we said oh well I've lost my shoes now Jesus um literally got in the car this morning and I said where is the waterproof GoPro I've seen that it must like it was soft sand or it wow. would have stuck on top I can't believe that has it like it's been driven over because you can Have see it. it yeah you can see like the little cra the scratches on it but nothing <laughs> crazy. I thought that was a goner oh my gosh do you know what we're not gonna I reckon we're gonna keep having issues with GoPros and because we just use it all the time that and, was like my wallet that one. Oh yeah so one time when we were at Bremer Bay we were at the sand dunes and um, we got back in the car la 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 went to a, went to a cafe and TJ's like, where's my wallet? I'm like, oh, you're joking. Like, we had it this morning. We brought it in the car. Anyway, we did a whole loop. We asked people, went to the beach, and it was buried in the sand, just like the GoPro just was. And he just saw the corner of it, yeah, didn't you? Yeah, corner of my wallet. Oh, Michael, we've had so much luck. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe like, that was still there. Lesson was... learned, babe. Yeah, Quinn, Don't trust the kids. I didn't trust her. <laughs> yeah, I told did. her to put it in the car. That's her fault. <laughs> Not my fault. Oh. Seriously, cannot believe that. Like, there's a few little scratches on the screen there, so you can see that actually, that someone has been it has been driven over. But <laughs> I, just, I, I just can't believe it. I really cannot. Wow. Quinn's lucky. Had Quinn's lucky. You're lucky, mate. Oh God. I tell you what. TJ just doesn't. Uh, Check things, do you, baby? My, like... jo my job is putting the kayak on. <laughs> Quinn is the GoPro. <laughs> no, my an idiot. Oh gosh. Lucky duckies. We're back at the beach again today. Um, looks sick again. Um, so we're going to go up to the reef, have a look around. Uh, it's, we just haven't got. We haven't had the best weather here actually in the last couple of days. So um, yeah. So it is what it is. But we're going to make the most of it because it, it's just a wicked little spot down here. So apparently I just uh, swam with the shark <laughs> and Quinny. I don't know what that is. I'm going to have to get on the old Google and see what that looks about five, five foot long, maybe four foot long. Whoa, lucky we were just, um, we were just on the rocky bit and it's really shallow there. So um, we would have done nothing though, but, it's, but that would have freaked me out if I had saw him in the water. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, that's scary. Wow. How amazing. But the sea life in there is absolutely insane. Like there were some really big fish, but really hard to find because they go straight under those big rocks. But so much to look at. I actually saw a Nemo, but I, I couldn't. Did you see one? I couldn't get on the camera, I don't think. So but yeah, really, really cool little spot. Just We've just had some crap weather though. That's the only thing. So it's really, um, it's a little bit murky in the water, but it's what it is. We do have an anchor, anchor coming. Anchor at Calberry for the for the um, kayak, so at least it'll be able to keep us in one spot. Yes, because um, yesterday that's what you found hard, wasn't it? You yeah, we just it just pushed us way too fast. Yeah. So we went in up there, and me and Quinn were up down here in like five minutes. <laughs> so I couldn't even fish. And he had to paddle all the way back. Yeah, Quinn doesn't have to paddle. <laughs> Alrighty, so Lucky Bay Campground done and dusted. Uh, we spent the last six nights here. 
been wicked. Definitely stick this place on your list. 15 bucks a night. Perfect if you've got a family like us. Uh, sand dunes to drive on. Beaches to drive on. The lagoon is just amazing. Wicked snorkeling. We had the kayak. Plenty of fish around. We obviously, well me, I obviously didn't catch any fish like normal. Uh, maybe at the next place. But yeah, so, yeah, right. yeah. so that's us done. Um, just remember, if you like our content, like, subscribe, hit the little bell. Um, and then our videos will pop up here to watch in the future. Yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Yeah, they're amazing. Look at the colour of those. Wow. Wow.